Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this course. My name is Ryan Krunenberg. I'm one of the founders of A Cloud Guru, and I'm an AWS community hero as well as an Alexa champion. And I've been teaching Amazon Web Services for the last two years, and I've taught it to over 130,000 people. Now, this is the Certified Solutions Architect Associate course. Prior to me joining A Cloud Guru, I used to be a Solutions Architect, so I have many, many, many years' experience working as an SA, especially around Amazon Web Services. So you're in really, really Really good hands. So let's talk a little bit about what you're going to, what we're going to cover in this lecture. Um, so very first of all, we're going to cover why you should learn AWS. We're then going to go on and talk about why you should learn AWS from me or from a Cloud Guru, and then we're going to talk about what you're going to need in order to learn AWS. So let's start with why you should learn AWS. So why should you learn AWS? Well, the first reason is it's the fastest growing cloud computing platform on the planet right now. In fact, Gartner actually did a study and they um, basically compared Amazon Web Services to the other top 14 cloud providers in the world. And if you add up the compute capacity for Amazon Web Services, it consumes about 90% of the world's total compute capacity in terms of public cloud. The next 5% was owned by Microsoft and then the next 5% um, after that was all the other competitors added up together. So it is absolutely huge in terms of its uh, reach and in terms of its capacity. It's the largest public cloud computing platform on the planet, and more and more organizations are now outsourcing their IT infrastructure to AWS. Uh, and the AWS certifications are now the most popular IT certifications in the world right now. And you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, you can actually go see a Forbes.com article, and it is the top paid certification for 2016. So this is that Forbes article I was talking about. You can see the 15 top paying IT certifications in 2016, AWS certified Solutions Architect leads at $125,000. Uh, and you can scroll down, just type in, if you want to find this, type in Forbes um, AWS certification into Google. Uh, and you can see here the very top one is Amazon Web Certi Services Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Now, of course, professional pays a lot more than the associate uh, certification. Not entirely sure why it's not on here. Um, but, um, you know, the number of professionals in the world is currently less than 3,000. And I'm recording this at the end of 2016. And if we scroll up here, we can see that six of the 15 are focused on security. And Amazon have just released a new um, security speciality cert certification. Uh, and that has only just come out like literally in the last couple of weeks. It's still in beta, um, but I suspect that will also be a very, very popular certificate. Now, the thing about AWS is it grows at an exponential rate. So in 2011, AWS announced 82 new services and updates to their platform. In 2012, we had 159. In 2013, we had 280. In 2014, we had 516. 2015, we had 735. And then in 2016, we've had over 1,000. So it is growing so, so fast. And because of that, it can be hard to keep. Up. And that's exactly what the A Cloud Guru platform is designed to do. It's designed to teach you AWS as and when they release new services and helps you basically keep up uh, with the platform as it grows. So, why did the certificates actually matter? Well, it's all actually driven a lot by the partner program, and there's two different types of partners. There's technology partners, so this will be companies like Alert Logic, Cloudberry Labs, Sumo Logic, Datadog, New Relic, and each one of these um, technology partners has a different technology that interacts with AWS. So Alert Logic is very much security focused, whereas Cloudberry Labs is focused on S3. And they actually have a cool little program which uh, makes it look like Windows Explorer in your browser, um, but it's actually storing all your files up in S3. Three. We then have consulting partners. Now this includes companies like LogicWorks, who I used to work for. They're based out of Manhattan. Um, Rackspace as well, who I also used to work for. Uh, Accenture and Datapipe. And these um, are different, and by all means, this is not a definitive list of all the consulting partners. Um, but these partners basically um, you know, provide AWS managed services. So they manage infrastructure on top of AWS. So in terms of consulting partners, there's different levels of consulting partners. 
there's a standard uh, consulting partner, an advanced consulting partner, and then a premier consulting partner. And in order to be a partner, you need to have enough um, staff who are certified um, to a certain level. So if you want to be a standard consulting partner, you're going to need at least two staff with associate certificates. Um, if you want to be an advanced consulting partner, you're going to need at least four um, staff with associate certificates and two staff with professional certificates. And if you want to be a premier partner, you're going to need at least 20 staff with associate certificates and eight staff with professional certificates. And what a lot of the consulting partners do is they compete with who has the most number of certified um, you know, staff in the world. And it's not really limited to just consulting partners either. All the companies within the AWS ecosystem are now really competing about how many staff that they've got certified because that's a general litmus test as to how to measure how cloud fluent you are. You know, the more people you have certified, the more fluent you are in Amazon Web Services and in cloud itself. So there's a huge demand out there by employers right now to get staff certified. And that may be why you're watching this video. Perhaps your employer is encouraging you to do it, or perhaps you want to get a job in the AWS uh, you know, space, and you know that um, getting an associate or even a professional certificate is a silver bullet to getting a job within the AWS ecosystem. So let's talk a little bit about how the exams fit together and the oldest of the exams is the associate tier. So these are the bread and butter. So we've got the Certified Solutions Architect Associate course, we've got the Certified Developer Associate course and we've got the Certified SysOps Administrator Associate course. We'll talk about the different levels of difficulty in the next slide. We then have the professional tier. So you can get a Certified Solutions Architect professional qualification uh, and then in order to do that you must have passed a Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam first. You can also get the DevOps Professional. For the DevOps Professional, you must have passed either the Certified Developer Associate uh, exam or the Certified SysOps Administrator Associate exam. We then have on top of this now new specialty exams, and these are very, very new. They, they're only actually announced um, you know, at the end of 2016. Um, they're in beta up until March. Um, so we've got uh, security, we've got advanced networking, and we've got big data. Now in order to sit the specialty exams, you're going to need an associate exam. You don't actually need a professional uh, you know, certification at this stage. So let's talk about how they all fit together in terms of easiest exam to hardest exam. Uh, so the very easiest exam by far is the developer associate exam. We then have the certified uh, solutions architect associate exam. We then have the sysops administrator associate exam. And then really the security speciality is somewhere between an associate and a professional uh, quality certification and same with big data. Um, they're not quite associate level, they're quite a bit harder than the associate level but they're not quite professional level either. Um, so they sort of sit in between and at least this is in my opinion anyway um, but certainly according to the rest of the community who have sat these exams as well we sort of think they're between the two. We then have the DevOps Pro exam, it starts getting to be quite tough. The advanced network Networking speciality exam is really tough, uh, especially if you don't come from a networking background. And then the hardest exam of them all is the Certified Solutions Architect Professional exam. Uh, and that is hard for a number of different reasons. It's hard because of the number of questions, the length of time that it takes, and also the in-depth knowledge you have to have in um, very specific areas of AWS. But you also must have a great um, broad knowledge of AWS as well. So at the end of reInvent in 2015, there was just over 100 people who had five out of five. Um, so this was before the specialty exams came along. Uh, and right now, to my knowledge, there is no one out there who has eight out of eight. So there's a, a big race on. Uh, some people sat all three specialty exams uh, at reInvent, uh, but you don't get the specialty exam results out until March. So my challenge to you is, can you get eight out of eight before reInvent 2017? And if you can, come and see us uh, at reInvent and we'll give you a special shirt for it. Okay, so we've covered off why you should learn um, AWS. Let's talk about a Cloud Guru and why you should learn it from us. So go check out our website. Um, it's uh, HTTPS acloud.guru. We were founded in May 2015. Our site has a whole bunch of different interactive discussion forums. It's one of the most active interactive discussion forums for certifications for AWS on the internet. Uh, and you can reach us directly via the site. So you can PM me uh, via the site.
site and we have a, a team of about 20 people now who um, deal with all the messages um, you know from our students as well as updating and creating new content uh, so why should you learn uh, Amazon Web Services from me well here's uh, me my name is Ryan Krunenberg uh, this is me at reInvent in 2015 before it started getting crazy reInvent 2016 was insane there were so many people it was difficult to uh, even move so I'm an Australian who lives in London I've been living here for about uh, 12 years now so my mix my accent's a mixture of Australian and British um, and you'll find I pronounce words slightly differently sometimes I might say cash instead of cache or I might say uh, router instead of router um, you'll just have to put up with it I'm sorry sometimes I try and say it the American way um, but we have a mixture of students from all over the world I'm uh, ex Rackspace I'm ex SunGuard Availability Systems I'm ex Smart 421 uh, and I've been working in the AWS space for a long Long time. I've also been a solutions architect for almost uh, over seven years now. I've worked as a developer, systems administrator, and a solutions architect in my career. So I'm really well placed to teach all three associate courses, uh, which is what I do. And I also teach the solutions architect professional course. Now there are eight certification courses uh, currently available, uh, and I teach four of them. Uh, the rest of them are taught by my colleagues at acloud.guru. I'm an AWS community hero, which was one one of the highlights of my career and I actually feature on Amazon's website it's a great honor um, so if you just type in AWS hero into Google you'll be able to see my name uh, and it tells you a little bit about my uh, background uh, here on the landing page I'm also an Alexa champion and again if you type in Alexa champion uh, into Google you'll come to this site uh, so it's on the Amazon developer portal uh, and you can also read about uh, what I do in the Alexa community and I'm absolutely obsessed with Alexa we actually have a free course uh, on a cloud.guru around how to develop on Alexa and then we also have a much longer paid for course where we'll teach you how to build out 12 different Alexa skills I was also a speaker at reInvent for 2016 and you can actually see me here so I'm up on the uh, reInvent stage here um, this was in front of about a thousand people which was a, a bit scary because I was only expecting one or two hundred and then I saw the size of the room and there was a thousand people there and there was a waiting list to get in so <laughs> uh, it was a bit scary to to say the least uh, and one of the slides that um, was my favorite slide of my presentation is the only way to grow your AWS knowledge is to get your hands dirty so you really have to um, start playing with Amazon Web Services uh, in order to really learn it um, you know in depth and that's what we'll be doing throughout this course so I'm not a professional trainer I've been doing this for many many years and I just sort of fell into this um, I started teaching Amazon Web Services because I love it I thought it was a massive revolution and I used to be an infrastructure architect and I used to do everything you know with physical servers um, you know with physical switches firewalls load balances etc and when I saw the power of AWS and the way it was turning our infrastructure into code I suddenly realized that this is what I needed to you know get into um, because the whole world was about to change uh, and what you really like about my courses is I have it explain it like I'm five approach so I go into uh, I assume when teaching this course that you don't know anything uh, about cloud computing or even in some regards into um, IT in general so I'll explain everything right from the beginning so you have a really firm understanding of all the different components that make up AWS uh, and I've successfully taught 30,000 students in 2015 and over 100,000 students in 2016. And you'll be happy to know that one of our largest corporate customers in 2016 um, basically did a study and they took um, 100 different engineers and placed them into groups of 100. Uh, and then they basically compared all the different training uh, you know, mechanisms available on the market today. And the great news is, is that Acloud Guru came out on top. Uh, we actually had the highest pass rate and also the lowest cost of delivery for training. And the reason our training is so cheap is simply simply because we're serverless we have almost no costs apart from our wages uh, and we've got a couple of small offices one in London and one in Melbourne but it's nothing extravagant so we pass all our cost savings on to you and we really do stay focused on the exam so if something doesn't appear in the exam uh, we might mention the technology in passing uh, in the course but we certainly won't be doing any deep dives into it if you want deep dive uh, courses on um, different uh, AWS services we do have that but they're not 
on certification courses. So I really don't want to waste your time learning, um, you know, in depth on DynamoDB, for example, when DynamoDB barely comes up in the Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. However, in the developer exam, it comes up in a lot of detail. So we really maintain um, a lot of focus on helping you pass your exam on the first go. Uh, and we really, um, you know, basically focus our areas of study on what you're going to see in that exam. And then you can take, a, you know, further steps into the AWS ecosystem by doing our specialty deep dive courses. We actually have a 19 hour DynamoDB course. So if you want to become a DynamoDB guru, make sure you check that out on our platform. Okay, so enough about me. I just want to introduce you to the other founder, uh, co-founder. This is Sam Cronenberg. He's uh, my brother. Sam is uh, ex-Microsoft. He actually used to live in Seattle. Uh, he worked on the Windows 7 team and built out Defrag. So when you defrag your computer from Windows 7, that is Sam's, uh, Sam's program that you're running. Uh, and Sam is basically the architect of the A Cloud Guru platform, along with Pete Sabarsky, who's our CTO. Uh, and we built our platform using serverless technology. And we'll talk a little bit about what that means later on in the course. And we're also the founders of Serverless Conf. Um, so we run uh, serverless conferences all over the world. In 2016, we did them in London, Tokyo, and New York. And we have a whole bunch of different speakers um, coming to each of those. We'll be running a whole bunch of different ones in 2017. These are some of the most famous people you'll meet in IT. And if you want to find out more, just visit serverlessconf.io. Okay, so that's almost it for this lecture, guys. Um, just a few things to do. Make sure you add me on LinkedIn. Just search for A Cloud Guru. Um, if it says how we knew each other, just say we've done business together before at your place of work. I accept all LinkedIn requests. Um, you can also follow A Cloud Guru um, on Twitter. And definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is fantastic. It's run by our security lecturer, um, Mike Chambers, uh, and it's the great way to keep up with all the changes that's happening around AWS. And this is what our YouTube channel looks like. We release video blogs basically every week and uh, make sure you subscribe to it. It's a fantastic way of keeping up uh, with all the changes uh, that is happening with the AWS platform. Don't forget in 2016, there was a thousand of them. Uh, in 2017, God knows how many there's going to be. Um, but instead of reading, um, you know, boring blogs all the time um, by watching our video blogs, it's much easier to consume all the different changes that's happening with AWS. And the address to subscribe to our YouTube channel is just youtube.com forward slash C forward slash A Cloud Guru. And finally, make sure you register on our site for the discussion forums. It is one of the most active communities uh, on AWS and certainly around the certifications in the world right now. Um, we have over 20 staff that are handling uh, questions on there. Uh, and we do have different um, you know, forum moderators as well as really enthusiastic students. Uh, so the last uh, couple of things you need to do is go and sign up for an AWS account. Uh, and you're also going to need a computer in which to do this on. You, it can either be a Mac, Windows, or Linux computer. You will need to be able to SSH into EC2 instances in order to um, you know, do the labs. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that on both a Mac and a Windows computer in a couple of sections on in the course. And just for Udemy students, um, if you are watching this on Udemy, I would encourage you to go over to our platform, acloud.guru. Um, we have many, many, many more practice questions on the site. It won't cost you anything extra. You can actually just migrate your Udemy purchase over to the acloud.guru platform. So you don't need to purchase it twice. Um, basically, we will just ask uh, for proof of receipt that you've uh, purchased it via Udemy. I uh, will then enable you access to the courses on our site. We always update the courses on our site first. Uh, and we also have a whole support team built around our site. Um, so it's also the best place to ask me questions directly um, on the Acloud Guru platform. Please Please don't PM me through uh, the Udemy messaging system because I just don't read it. I get so many messages a day, I can't keep up with them. Um, so please do contact me directly through the Acloud Guru platform. So that's it for this lecture, guys. Hopefully, uh, I've been very clear in why you should learn AWS. The certificates are really, really valuable, both to yourself and to your employer. Uh, and then also, I hopefully, I explain why you should learn it from me. You are in really, really good hands. I've been doing this for a couple of years now, and I've taught uh, well over 130,000 people Amazon Web Services. Uh, so make sure you do all these things to do on the to-do list. Uh, make sure you go and get yourself an AWS account and then you'll be ready uh, to begin the course.